Dire Team Pick. Templar Assassin. Uh, art style on the Dazzle, meanwhile, as uh, Trixie is sort of harassing Dita Rock, who's on the Queen of Pain. The they're engaging for the point yeah, for the first going, one. Yeah, they're going for the snowball. The Octave Bone is coming up, but Nempy takes a huge heal bomb. Can they get the first blood? They do on DJ Rock, while Nempy may fall. And I mean, this is all still. Who got the bounty there? They should be able to kill off Art Style, these two ranged heroes. And it looks like the bounty wasn't gained. You freeze the target. Like you basically take away all of Navi's damage away. So, of course, it's not going to be a pleasant lane, but I think it's a lane with a big potential for turnaround. Yeah, I agree. Oh, we actually have them already in the snowball, and the Wyvern is only level 1, though, so the heal bomb should come out. The Ice Child block and Wyvern Valix, goodbye. And Boogie trying to do some damage on the back lines, but Rocket Barrage so ineffective against three heroes. And you mentioned the Cold Embrace is going to make it fine. Quaff, I would love to see that, you know, the minute Quaff hits level 6, you just go for a kill. It's got a long cooldown, may as well use it early. Um, at the same time, Boogie is doing oh, a really mid. nice... Oh, we have the dive coming out. Nempty's gonna go down! He tried to go for the... Uh, lane is a tie, I would argue. I'm not gonna even say it's a one lane for Trixie, and Trixie is going in on the DG Raw, trying to bring some harass there. Does start the Shadow Strike, but this means Queen of Pain doesn't have Blink, but Trixie doesn't have another Surge for four seconds, and with Sineko TPing in, oh goodness, he's not gonna get the TP out in time, and Trixie, he goes down. It will free up space in bottom lane, but it... Give Dieter Rodi advantage oh, as no. starters going on. Yep. He actually cold embrace up Valix, but now Boogie, he's in quite a bit of trouble. I'm really surprised Alt Style didn't go for the heal bomb there. It felt like there were a lot of creeps around, and now they use it on OK Psyka, and if he can't get off the brain sap, he's gonna fall. <laughs> no, he really bringing it out. Interesting. Oh. It's suddenly something where she could get a kill up there, and since... Oh, she doesn't actually have a TP. I was expecting if she had a TP to go for it. Trixie is also pinging her out, so maybe that signals that they can be more aggressive on bottom. But I don't think it's the time, and in fact, the Ice Shell slightly off the mark for Boogie. They immediately hold and brace him. He might just take the damage when this is done, but the uh, Optic Bone is coming out. Now Boogie turning it around with the Rocket Barrage. Soneko's taking a lot of damage, and these are long cooldowns. They need more damage, and Boogie, he goes, he eats his mango. A secondary Rocket Barrage, there is going to be a shallow grave, but do they have the damage they need to attack? Him down, but instead he looks like he'll get the TP out. Boogie falls. They've got Trixie coming in. The Wyvern will get the tusk, but again, is it worth it? Oh. And actually they can get over them, so Balak's gonna be okay, but now they're pushed super deep onto the tower, and Axmo wants to go for this. We have a Bane retaining again immediately the cold embrace the moment he sees Axmo, and they again, as he said, no damage that goes through that. Balak's is cold embrace is over. Boogie's taking a lot of damage too. The Wyvern is down. Okay, Sia is going to be the target of their aggression now. Has the brain sap trying to do something to Axmo, but this tower is not helping him out in the slightest. Now it's going after off style. Queen of Pain has come on the back lines onto the gyrocopter, and she wants more. Okay, Sia is going down. And Navi are rolling stock a little bit. I mean, you're in the, and you're aggro trialing in the dire side. It always looks worse. I mean, it always looks better than it really is on the graph. So they have to be wary about that. Not to start making uh, preemptive decisions as they want to try to go on mid. Yeah, and as they're going in, there's going to be the cold embrace, but a sonic wave from downtown. They are fighting in the acid spray, but I don't think Balance can take advantage of this. Throws out the unstable concoction, and Nempy is trying to walk away. They should be popping these traps right now. It's Axmo. He's catching up. He uses a slithering crush, and with the heal bomb, Nempy is a goner. And now on the back line, Trixie, he was trying to catch Dendi, but another failed TP. Snowball stopping that. Another trap to help just in case. And Trixie's going to fall as well. All of these rotations from Stark just need to be in the bottom lane. Yeah, they really want to <laughs> make sure nobody's getting anything. Oh, there's going to be a snowball coming in onto Boogie. There's a Warriors punch. They're trying to use the... Oh, goodness. Rocket Barrage. Nobody cares about it. Sonic Wave coming out, and Valix is a goner, too. And now it looks like OKC are inevitably going to fall here. There's just too many around. Here, 3 to 15. 10 minutes. Smokes up on them, too. Uh, they could potentially try to go for something like that. Uh, even if they kill one here or here, it's going to be a big kill. By the sigil, he has the relic on him, and suddenly Stark realizing they need to get all the way out of here. Trixie is the one who's probably gonna fall, taking a tumble for the rest of his team, and it does get the alchemist out, but not a good exchange. No, this move, and it just backfires on him when they could be safely farming, I think. Yeah, 100%. It's just not working out, um, and Gyrocopter goes down, we all love so much. Um, for Navi, I think it's a really safe game. Obviously, they have Deso. They can just make sure that they keep 
knocking down towers and then get the next Aegis. Oh, we actually have an engagement happening over here. Fiend's grip on Axmo. Can they get the kill? Axmo, he's got the stun. Oh, the oh goodness, there's gonna be a Sonic Whip coming from above. Scream almost finishing off the cooldown. Axmo, can he go down to the rocket barrage? One last auto attack will get it. They're also now working on DJ Rob, but has lots of ways to get out of this, including a blink, including the shallow grave. The wyvern goes down on the side, and now Boogie, they want to walk in on him. Dendi is around, but is telling his team, it looks like, to say back out. Trixie's coming over, and he may have some more for us, but instead they turn right around. Nephi is behind them all, goes to throw out his stun, ends up throwing it on DJ Rob, but he's put in the snowball life save, and now Nephi and Boogie need to retreat, but Nephi, he's gonna fall. Boogie trying to get out, and an ultra kill for DJ Raw. <laughs> uh, as, as the fire was breaking on uh, over here, yeah, so it looks like we're gonna be having another engagement potentially up top. Nempi getting ready to throw out that stun. They've got the fiend's grip on Seneca, and this might finally get them another kill. The snowball does come out, and it looks like they're thinking about regoosing on Axel, but that would be a very deep way to dive. Seneca going down, just gonna take a while because of the mech, and Stomp getting themselves a kill. Yeah, a kill, but of course, unfortunately, not. Ooh. Not easy. And now, are oh, they going to find Art Style? Burning the Winter's Curse for that, but again, I think it is worth it. And they have gotten a killing spree because Art Style had one of those. It's the right call. There's a lot of members of Navi in the area, but OKC really wants to get off that Fiend script, but it turns nighttime and Nendi turns around, not quite able to one shot him. The immediate cold embrace to try and stop this initiation, but they don't have ult, and the Sonic Wave just wipes Bane off of the map. No Arctic, uh, no Winter's Curse coming out for a while, and the rest of the heroes that they would need, not there. And Dendi's just gonna rip them all apart. Trixie taking quite a bit of damage as well, but instead it's gonna be Boogie, who is the uh, target of their aggression. And now Trixie, they're gonna start working on him. He dodges away, Nephi's coming in, you're trying to use his radiance to help out, but instead they're all gonna fall, and Alison Echo has time to walk in on Nephi. He doesn't have snowballs for five more seconds, but they may just hop into his fountain, and that one hit almost killing him off. Which is probably one of the worst, ta the, um, the top dire and the bottom million towers are the worst towers to defend that Nephi yeah. just gone on. Yep, and it looks like there's gonna be a nice Winter's Curse onto Axmo, but they put him in the snowball instead. A huge heal bomb takes out the Alk, and now they don't have buyback on either of those heroes. And beautiful Fiend's Grip, but immediately the Shallow Grave coming out. DJ Raw out of Slither of Health, he's not gonna go down. Blinks out of the wall, and even Nendi, Dendi is fine. Maybe they can send their illusions off to them, but it's not looking like they're getting any worse. Sweet speed. Make uh, things even worse. This is. Uh, I was so excited to pass Nandi. And they are just stomping. Dark uh, smoke coming out for the lineup. Oh, and they have a good chance of going in on Dendi. Just use that blink. They go for the Fiend Grip immediately. Ash Spray has been put down. Splinter Blast as well. They do have the Winter's Curse, so they could use that as well. But there is the Shallow Grave coming up. Dendi will have to fall through this wall, so maybe that's something. Can his illusion work in on him? But they drop the cooldown with basically no effect, and they still have the Winter's Curse. Wyvern is silenced up, though, and he goes down before being able to use it. Seneco is burning away, and Dendi, the refraction charges. When will they finally be gone, but no, nobody's over there to deal with those. So Bane has gone down, Wyvern is down, and a huge slithering crush on all three of them. There is an acid spray on the deck, but it is not damaging anyone. And Dendi, he's back in, and he doesn't care. He's gonna take a full rocket rush, but he's still in there at 30 health, and even if he went down here, he has an Aegis, so he might finally burn down. Aegis gone, but only Nephi is alive. Another snowball in, and I think he's gonna fall too. So, it's gonna be the tier 2 mid, and maybe... Aggression been puzzling to say the least. Either way, um, this is a best of three, and Stark has another opportunity as the Bane goes down. Valix also silenced up, isn't gonna get off a Winter's Curse today. If they could just Winter's Curse someone and have Dendi rip them apart, they might have a chance, but they finally call GG. We'll be headed into game two. It was a bit one sided, but hopefully the next one is gonna be awesome. It's kind of like the game is happening all the time. I think even in PR we see completely one sided and then Spark might take the best of three, so yeah. it's one game. Now, with that, guys, once again, thank you all for watching. This is Star Ladder uh, I League Series 13. We're going to be having, uh, as I said, it's a best of three. This is the last set of the day, but please, we had Corrupt Drop Bear on stats. Show them your love.